One of the stated goals of a group called the People's Map is to draw a map that doesn't divide Chicago's neighborhoods into multiple wards. Communities like Washington Heights, where Paris Schutz finds himself this evening for our In Your Neighborhood series. It's a predominantly black middle class neighborhood on the far south side near places like Roseland and Beverly. It's a part of the city that has played a huge role in African American history. Paris, along with producers Marissa Nelson and Acacia Hernandez, spent the day reporting in Washington Heights, and Paris joins us now outside of the Woodson Regional Branch of the Chicago Public Library. Paris. Brandis, this community is home to the famed church that was once the home or place of worship of the Obamas and Oprah Winfrey, and also the Woodson Library, as you mentioned, a state-of-the-art library branch that is visited by scholars from around the world because of its collection of African-American history. More on that in just a moment. Now, Washington Heights, as you mentioned, predominantly African-American. According to a group called the Endaleo Institute, it is the neighborhood with the largest rate of home ownership in Chicago. More than two-thirds of the residents here are home owners. That doesn't mean that the neighborhood is immune from other problems like crime or poverty, and it only has about a 44 percent COVID-19 vaccination rate. Now, the Woodson Library is definitely the anchor of this community. It stays open late hours to provide a refuge and a learning space for children. This library is the absolute strongest anchor on the far south side in this community. Um, as far as a trusted resource for people to come, for children to come after school, for homework help, for computer assistance. We have more than 100 computers in the building for individuals in the community who do not have Wi-Fi and internet at home and they are able to come here. And it underwent a major renovation in 2018 after community groups here fought the city years and years to update the dilapidated structure. It is home to the Vivian Harsh Collection, which is the largest collection of African-American literature and history anywhere in the Midwest. We're talking books, artifacts, rare scholarly articles, including the work of the late great historian Timuel Black. Now, Vivian Harsh herself was the Chicago Public Library's first ever African-American librarian, and she kick-started this notable collection. She worked with people like Langston Hughes and Richard Wright and um, great scholars of, of that time and that era and started keeping collections of resources that they were putting together. We receive appointment requests on a regular basis from scholars, from documentary um, makers, from reporters. Um, all over the world that are doing research on African-American scholars, authors, um, looking for details about their lives and about their work, and they can find that here. And nearby is another community anchor, the large Chicago International Charter School, which serves a predominantly African-American and low-income population. In fact, around 90 percent of the students qualify for free or reduced school lunch. And add to that the struggles of the last year, stay-at-home learning. Kids could not go to school because of the pandemic. Schools opened their doors again this year to the delight of parents, teachers, and students alike. On the first day that we came back, they were running through our doors. They're still running through our doors. Uh, they come to school every day as fast as they can. They're here early, and their parents are so excited to have them here, and teachers are glad to have them back in person. Like Our students belong in school. When our students can't be in school because there is a COVID flare-up, they go home, and we teach them through remote learning, and it's, it's okay. And we mentioned Trinity United Church of Christ over on 95th, the home church of the Obamas for years until the former president during his 2008 campaign had that public split with then Pastor Jeremiah Wright. Now, the church is a very active participant in the Washington Heights community, holding food drives, helping out with affordable housing, and it draws worshipers from all over the region. It only reopened for indoor service this fall and has taken tons of COVID precautions, especially trying to look out for the older members of the congregation. Because I think because of our intentionality with our protocols um, around, um, you know, around worship, we wanted to make sure that we decreased exposure 
So it's no more passing in baskets for offering. It's no more passing of communion. Everything is prepackaged and you have to pick those things up, you know, as you go into worship. We even have QR codes on the back of our pews so that people can take a picture using their smartphone and they can pull up the bulletin and then they can also do their giving as well. Certainly the way to worship in 2021. And then one of the more notable businesses in the community, Larry's Barber College, an active hair salon and school. Owner Larry Roberts has been cutting hair for 30 years. He expanded his practice to multiple locations, most notably multiple locations inside Cook County Jail, where he's teaching inmates there the trade in hopes that it turns their lives around. When they get out of jail and they have criminal backgrounds, they go and try and get a real job but they can't get a job because of their history, right? So I figured that why not train them while they're locked up so that when they get out of jail, I can put them straight to work and it, it works out just fine. There are, are, are alternatives to violence, but people have to be willing to, um, um, to give those alternatives and put in the work, you know, make sacrifices. And that's what we, um, our team is here to do. And to underscore how overlooked Washington Heights is, the local group Endaleo Institute gave me this shirt that says, where's Washington Heights? Obviously, right here on the map, right by Roseland, right by Beverly, a great little community here uh, off of 95th Street in Halstead. And we're going to have much more, including the area's alderman, Howard Brookins, in just a bit. But, Brandis, we toss it back to you. It's a helpful T-shirt, Paris. Not everybody knows where Washington Heights is. We'll see you in a bit.